25th Sunday in Ordinary Time The Lord is near to all who call upon Him. This day's Gospel is from Matthew 20, 1 16. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire workers for his vineyard. He agreed to pay them a denarius for the day and sent them into his vineyard. About nine in the morning he went out and saw others standing in the marketplace doing nothing. He told them, You also go and work in my vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He went out again about noon and about three in the afternoon and did the same thing. About five in the afternoon he went out and found still others standing around. He asked them, Why have you been standing here all day long doing nothing? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You also go and work in my vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Call the workers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last ones hired and going on to the first. The workers who were hired about five in the afternoon came and each received a denarius. So when those came who were hired first, they expected to receive more. But each one of them also received a denarius. When they received it, they began to grumble against the landowner. These who were hired last worked only one hour, they said, and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the work and the heat of the day. But he answered one of them, I am not being unfair to you, friend. Didn't you agree to work for a denarius? Take your pay and go. I want to give the one who was hired last the same as I gave you. Don't I have the right to do what I want with my own money? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. This is the Gospel of the Lord. The essence of this parable is to convey the idea of God's boundless grace, and the nature of the kingdom of heaven. It challenges human notions of fairness by illustrating that God's generosity doesn't conform to worldly standards. Just as the landowner's generosity isn't limited by the length of labor, God's grace extends to all who come to him, regardless of their background or the extent of their service. The parable emphasizes God's fairness and reminds us that salvation is a gift received through faith, not something earned through works. It calls believers to appreciate the grace they've received and not to be envious of God's generosity to others. So let us pray. Loving God. As we ponder Matthew 21 to 16, we're reminded of your immeasurable grace and unexpected generosity. Like the landowner, you offer salvation without measure, embracing all who turn to you. Teach us to release comparisons and embrace the beauty of your inclusive love. May our hearts overflow with gratitude for the unearned gift of salvation we've received. Guide us to share your compassion and kindness with others, reflecting your kingdom's principles in our daily lives. Let our actions speak of your boundless love and the transformative power of your grace. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Type Amen if you feel blessed.